Um, we just got to have that mindset of, you know, it doesn't matter who comes to play. Um, we just got to continue to thrive to meet the standard each week, and that's going to be big this weekend, just seeing um, how our leadership does and controlling that narrative. How much has that been a focus for this team in general, just going, hey, control what we can control and worry about ourselves? Yeah, that's been the main thing for real. Um, you know, after going through that long streak that we went through, just, you know, having our back against the wall and then just being able to um, come together and, and realize what we wanted to do as a team and what we wanted to accomplish. So just continuing to live up to that and that standard is going to be big and it's being shown every week. Well, what's, what's the difference in this locker room now? After four games and now after three games, sorry, what, what's been the biggest difference in locker room? Uh, I would just say confidence. Um, I feel like that's the main thing of just everyone knowing and understanding that, you know, team ball is a, is a big thing and um, playing together as a team is going to help us, you know, um, get to where we want to get when the clock hits zero. So that's just a big thing. I can say just everybody playing with confidence. Congrats on being the SEC Special Teams Player of the Week and Jalen defensively. What did that honor mean to you? When you oh, yeah. That? Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a big goal, um, you know, being able to provide that edge on special teams and then, you know, being recognized throughout the conference is big for me. Yeah, do you feel like this team has kind of a renewed confidence and you feel the momentum around the program? Yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, it's just a, a different feel in the locker room, um, especially after the, the first one we got after, you know, coming off that long stretch. I feel like that was super big for us just to, to realize it can be done when you do the, the small things and just play confident and, and play together. Um, that was just our big thing. So, yeah, it definitely has been a change in the locker room. And I know you're on the other side of the ball, but going up and practice against a guy like Fairweather, how difficult is he to defend out there? And what has he brought this team from a, just an explosiveness standpoint? Yeah, I would just say, man, he just he just brings a different factor of being a tight end that, you know, is, you know, this close to being a receiver. So it's just something that, um, you know, teams have been struggling to prepare for because, you know, just such a, a big catch radius and then, you know, just being able to extend plays with his legs also. So just a, a great addition to this football team and, and um, super happy to see him progressing and getting better each week. How did the guy from California Junior College wind up being the closer in recruiting? <laughs> uh, I would just say just, you know, being able to um, to come in and, and relate to the young recruits and just being able to, you know, um, take pride in, you know, getting guys to come in and buy in and, and just to lead the program better than I found it. Um, just always take pride in that of being able to, you know, um, not necessarily sell anything because it's, it's the real deal, but just being able to tell guys, you know, um, a player aspect of things, I feel like that's big for them, and, and um, I take pride in it. What have you found at Auburn's? Uh, home, <laughs> literally. Uh, just a, a loving place, um, a place that values football very, very highly and some, something I do, so it's just an easy place to, you know, become comfortable in. Does it make it easy then for you to talk to guys and, and tell them what you felt and, and – and now that what you felt since you've been here? Yeah, uh, that's just my main goal is to just, you know, be completely honest with um, how I was brought in and accepted in and just being able to, to preach that and then for them to go out and, and they feel that exact same feeling and get those same type of vibes from the program. It's just it's just an easy thing to do. Yeah, yeah. do you think it's going to be an eventful signing day? Yeah, I do. I do, I do, I do. I definitely think uh, it's getting a little close to flipness. So uh, it's going to be exciting, you know, just to um, where this place will go and all these re recruits that we'll get to see how just the turnover midseason, you know, a lot of teams I don't think could um, flip the script like, like we have. Um, so it's just important to do and to just finish strong this year. You feel like the, the class is really picking up compared to maybe how it was a couple of years ago? Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. I'm excited to see where it will where it will end with some of the guys who seeing how we finish the season and coaches being able to. As recruit. one of the leaders on this team, uh, how much upon yourself do you take to make sure that you guys don't overlook this team this week and not look ahead to the Iron Bowl? Yeah, it's going to be my main um, goal preaching this week. Um, starting today, just of, um, you know, we'll come in and watch and see where we're at this week and see what we can uh, uh, get better at. But it's also just... Um, preach on taking that next step um, offensively, defensively, and on special teams of just perfecting our craft and continuing to um, continue our streak of getting wins. So it's just going to be big for me to preach, and um, Coach Freeze has already harped upon it in our leadership group chat of just continuing to make sure that this week is, is no, not like any other week. It's just it's the same. I know DBs are, are known to play the next play. You have to forget it. 
you got a quarterback that does that too. Have you seen that mentality from Peyton Thorne? Yeah, you yeah, always uh, try to come up to him and tell him, and he's already on that, so I don't even have to mention it to him. Um, he definitely is a quarterback that I've seen um, get confidence throughout the year. So now the look is kind of different in his eyes. He kind of knows, he already knows where he went wrong at. So just seeing him being able to self-assess and make the changes and to already know where he um, took the wrong step and just be able to get back on the path is, is just something is good to see as a defensive player um, when the offense comes off after you know a turnover or uh, three and an hour or something like that. Just seeing him being able to sit down with the receivers and, and stuff like that, it's just good to see a quarterback do. When you think of like how Auburn was pitched to you when you were coming here, how has that pitch changed whenever you're kind of talking to obviously future targets? Yeah, I would just say it doesn't really change much. Um, everything I was told during recruiting um, has, has been lived upon and I've been able to experience. So being able to just pass that knowledge on and, and then for it to, to stay true is just something that is just goes to show about this program and, and the history behind it. Keontae, you said that Auburn is home. How impactful is it to wrap up the season with two games in Jordan Air? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't ask to... Uh, to be back in Jordan Air, you know, going on the road is is cool and all, but it's nothing like Jordan Air. So I'm excited to get back around the fans, and I know the team is too. Okay, how much have you seen DJ improve and grow this season next year? Yeah, um, I'm super excited for DJ. Um, I think he plays ex at extremely high level. So just seeing him being able to to make plays and, and do the things that he knows he can do is just it's just good and just always feed off of his excitement. I mean, as a DB group, we feed off of each other. So just being able to see him make plays on the ball is just something exciting. So I'm definitely happy for him.